Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm honored to speak on behalf of the 1%, although I wish to be the country club's kind of 1%. Uh, I represent California's smallest Black student union, uh, making up Cal Poly's 1% of the student body. Um, hello, all. I'm Kiana Corey, uh, a student assistant for the Black Academic Excellence Center, a member of the Black Student Union, a creator of Kiki's Corner, a Block P Athletics member, a four-year Division I athlete, an activist, and the list just keeps on going. Um, and I don't want to keep you here forever. Um, <laughs> I'm a fourth-year child development major, which means I spent $90,000 on a 50% discount to become a professional mom. Um, <laughs> I grew up in a small town called Rancho Marietta, home of the world's finest golf course, um, most beautiful equestrian center, and my favorite, rich racist. So you may ask, whoop. <laughs> so you may ask, why would I go from somewhere like Rancho Marietta to somewhere as controversial as San Luis Obispo and or Cal Poly, to which I quickly respond, I was at the ripe age of 14 years old um, when I verbally committed to play softball here. Um, so I didn't do any research, but I now know that it was my fate to make change on Cal Poly's campus and for the Black community specifically. <laughs> Hold the applause, guys. Um, <clears throat> a little less than two years ago today, I attended an athletic-wide Zoom call um, after the death of George Floyd. And although I thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> upper middle class white girls um, weep as if their Lululemons were stripped away from them, there are only three black students who spoke on the Zoom call and I just so happened to be one of them. Uh, I expressed my disappointment in my teammates for not showing up for something as important as, it, as this. Um, and it felt terrible to know that they could not take one hour of their quarantine drinking to support my community. After speaking up, Dr. Jamie Patton offered me a student assistant job with the Black Academic Excellence Center. And I've now been there for two years um, as a student assistant. And so Cal Poly's child development major um, requires an internship to graduate. So I used um, this internship with base and to intertwine my future aspirations of becoming a therapist, I decided to create something called Kiki's Corner. Um, originally, I was a liberal studies major, which is education. And until a racial incident happened to me off campus, um, just three days into my freshman year at Cal Poly, another female student athlete hurled the N-word with a hard R not once, but twice to me. Um, and my teammates were present um, and no one said anything. I didn't even say anything. And after this act of racism, I decided to seek on campus therapy. To my lack of surprise, there were no black therapists on campus. And I even uh, tried to seek some sort of black therapy outside of um, campus. And there was only one black therapist in the entire Slow County, meaning 45 minutes above Slow and 45 minutes below. Um, so I've decided to create a non-clinical peer therapy exclusively for um, black students because I needed that outlet. Um, my freshman year, so I created Kiki's Corner for any and all black students on campus. I overemphasize that Kiki's Corner is not a clinical space, but I do plan to get um, my degree from some university as I wish it for to come from Cal Poly. Um, the graduate admissions does not, and I quote, approve of my application for admissions, but that is a conversation for another time. Uh, <laughs> since clearly I am unwanted as a therapist on campus, I joined a search committee to find the second best black therapist on campus next to yours truly. To strengthen our campus, we must first support the most underrepresented people on campus, that being the native indigenous folks of San Luis Obispo and the black community on campus. With that being said, it is so important to hire native and black therapists because although therapists can be competent, they may never face the challenges we do on a daily basis. Uh, the whole point of healing is to recognize the good, the bad and the ugly. And there's so much black trauma and multi-generational trauma along with the stigma around therapy in my community. Um, it is so important for us to heal so that we can grow as a community. With that being said, and like I always say, black joy starts with black healing. And I want to extend my gratitude to Audrey Smeichel, soon to be Dr. Uh, Bea Makikau, Dr. Jamie Patton and Dr. Jeffrey Armstrong for allowing me to create Kiki's Corner. And I thank you all for your time. I will leave my down below for um, black reparations. I'm totally kidding. And remember a dollar a day keeps the racist away. Support black businesses with peace and love, Kiana Corey.